Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Sarah speaking. I'm very excited and I'm very happy and of course very proud about our results in the premium forex signals group on Telegra Telegram. Um, as we can see today was actually almost full of green, full of profits. Uh, AUD, USD, Pound, USD, Euro, GPY, USD, CAD, all of them are running in a very good and deep profit. And even till now, the signals are running in profit. Of course, very tiny small loss here, 16 pips on the Pound, GPY. But yesterday was almost also full of profit. As we can see yesterday, almost all of the signals have reached the take profit number two. Uh, uh, 60 pips of profit, 60 pips of profit again, 50 and 50 again. Of course, we had to close one of the signals with, with only 32 pips of uh, loss, which is, of course, nothing compared to the profits. And I think here also your AUD 12 pips of loss. Of course, also, we are receiving look at that i mean this is very this is very nice uh really we are getting now the messages from the members the happy clients who have joined recently our forex signals group of course guys i'm telling you always that we cannot have these results every day of course this is then this is how forex market is uh this week so far is really amazing and the market is easier to read and of course if we want to compare the weekly analysis with the premium forex signals group of course always follow the premium signals because they are more updated when i'm sending the signals i'm sending them on saturday but the premium group are updated um minute by minute i mean if there was any news or anything changing in the market rather than what i have said in the weekly analysis of course listen to the premium group signal so of course we are doing amazing and thankfully the happy messages are back and we are very proud of our work so of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right, so let's now begin with the midweek analysis video. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro UST. Now, the thing here is uh, yesterday, all of the signals were running in a very good profit. Euro, Euro UST was running in a total of 68 pips of profit. Pound UST was running in uh, 42 pips of profit. AUD UST was running also in about, I would say about 40 pips of profit. Uh, USD CAD was going in 50 pips of profit. USD GPY hasn't been triggered. USD CHF was very close to hit the take profit level, uh, making about 80 pips of profit. Uh, the gold also has reversed exactly from the level where I have mentioned that we can start buying, I think. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, almost there. Yes, right here. The gold has went in 60 pips of profit. So what happened later? What happened is Mr. Jerome Paul yesterday has made a speech and according to him, the economy in the United States now is getting uh, well again. And of course, that has helped the currency to rise, which is of course the USD currency. It has rose upon these news. And of course, that's the reason uh, you can see that the Euro USD, Pound USD, AUD USD are falling. USD CAD is rising. USD CHF also is rising and the gold is falling. So uh, depending on this news, the signals has uh, unfortunately failed. So of course, I just wanted to, to highlight here that I don't take any fault for that. It was the speech of Mr. Uh, Jerome Paul, who actually, uh, which actually has changed the whole direction of the market. So let's now take a look at the market and let's see what are the things that are actually waiting for us. Now, of course, even with that statement from Mr. Jerome Paul, I still don't think that the Euro USD is going to fall uh, more than that. If I'm not mistaken, eventually the gold, sorry, uh, the Euro USD is going to actually reverse right on that level on 1.18450. So for um, for another um, 18 pips, we can expect for, for the gold. Sorry, I keep saying the gold, the Euro USD. We can expect from the Euro USD to continue the fall until it hit this strong support level right here on 1.18460. And right after that, we can um, start again buying the pair. Again, I really doubt that the Euro USD is rising. Sorry, it's falling. Uh, most likely from my point of view, Euro USD is gonna good for the rise. Uh, especially we are seeing here a strong support level on the edge of the safe zone, which is on 1.18298. Uh, now, of course, as I have, as I have told you, uh, we are depending on Fibonacci 61.8. Now, the thing is, uh, we are right now on the daily chart and we, are, we can see that right now the candle is still rise, ranging on 61.8 Fibonacci. 
now the thing here is we have to keep our, our eyes on this candle how is it gonna be closed if this candle gonna close as a strong uh, bearish breakout candle such as um, for example like this one I, how can I draw it here um, like that for example like the small tiny t uh, wick at its top and a small tail at, at the bottom that means most likely that the euro usd is going to continue the fall again i really doubt that this is going to happening and i'm expecting from the euro usd to continue the rise so therefore i know we talk too much but however i just want to make sure make sure everything is clear for you so here is the here's the thing we are depending on the support level uh, on 1.18447 so let me change this one right here let me change the buy to make it 1.8 uh, uh, this is going to be the level where we again going to place the buy order for the pound for sorry for the euro usd and of course keep that red running until it hit the um, let me just show it to you this resistance right here so uh, you know uh, the trade running uh, cur run, running currently in loss but however uh we placed our trade right here so we exp expected before 107 pips of profit but right now we can expect again uh 143 pips of profit so we just have to change uh, the level where we are going to place the buy order for the euro usd now again why do salah not expecting the euro usd to fall good question because on the daily chart as we can see right here notice something my friends the level here of the edge of the safe zone is the lowest level of the support which has been holding the position since more than five months since uh, october almost uh, november sorry um, four months almost four months and more and if we look right here we can see that we are having right here a previously strong key support level and with the strong momentum on the euro usd and of course the usd the usd had a push but it's not enough actually to make the euro usd crash i think so far the euro usd uh, is going to continue the rise and what's happening today is just the reaction of the or, or the impact of the good news that the economy in the united states is now is now getting well again but of course that is still far from being happening in reality so therefore um again i really doubt that the euro usd uh, gonna crash or fall and with all these attempts of the support with the strength i mean of the support level right here the support right here uh, most likely the euro usd has to reverse right on that support level and we can expect from the pair to, to reverse at least to hit that strong support uh, previous resistance level on 1.20247 so there goes your signal for the your, for the euro usd and again please keep your, keep your eyes guys on the pairs on the on the price action because what i'm saying right here is based on the technical analysis only so if you see for example a very strong bearish momentum happening right here and the euro usd is cr actually crashing and falling down then for sure don't place the buy order at all place the buy order only if you see here a momentum or any sign that indicates that the market is reversing on the very same level that, that I have just mentioned. For example, a pin bar or a doji or a hammer or a reverse hammer, whatever indicates, if you, for example, see here uh, long tails on the, for example, if we had right here three candles, well, not of course on the daily chart, let's go to the four hour time frame. And right here, of course, we can notice maybe we will have here a candle with long tail like that and another candle with a pin bar that is not a pin bar um, for example here a pin bar and another candle like that so in that case of course you can start buying the pair but if you see here a strong bearish breakout candle falling down like that please don't uh, enter with the buy order right now um, it's all about upon the price action we have to wait to see a good price action indicates that we can still again keep the buy order or if we can buy the pair but so far nothing we have to wait again guys until the candle touches this touches this level of the support on 1.18447 before we decide so please be careful and hopefully this signal is gonna work very well and hopefully we will make good profit with this signal now moving to the pound usd now very similar thing to the pound usd so i don't want to make it long speech if we look here at the left exactly right here we can notice that the pair already has reversed exactly look at that look at that 
the candle has already reversed right on that previous uh, resistance level or that broken resistance level and most likely the pound usd seems like it's going to be good or valid for the buy right from the very same level of that previous resistance so therefore and sadly uh the buy order level is no or this the buy order right from this level is no longer active we just have to change the buy order on the pound usd to be exactly right from that level of the previous resistance and hopefully we'll see the creation right now on the new support so therefore uh, let me just change the take profit level to be the peak of the resistance at 1.3807 um, sorry 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 uh, mistakes made uh, 1.3807 that's going to be our take profit level and of course let me just drag this line here as well uh, change the buy order for the USDCPY to be uh, 1.37516. Again, hopefully this signal is going to be very valid and hopefully we'll make good profit out of it. So we have to wait for the pound USD to fall for another 17 pips before we can start buying it again. But of course, um, the very same thing about EURUSD. Of course, you have to wait for the price action. Anything indicates. So far, we are having here good price action. This one so far indicates that the pair is good for the buy, but of course, however, we have to wait more time to see how the market is going to react to that previous level of the resistance. AUD USD. <coughs> now, regarding AUD USD, it's also going to fall a little bit more before going to be valid for the buy. So, actually, we have to set our buy order to be exactly, uh, let me just be sure, exactly right here. Look at that. We had right here on the same level a strong key resistance level which has turned also to be a strong support level and of course the market has respected the same level again and right here we can see that the, the broken resistance has become another support and right now we are getting ready to rebuy again the AUD USD right on the second attempt of the support so therefore uh, let me just change this line right here this is exactly where we are going to start buying the uh, AUD USD, exactly like that. All right. Uh, let me just change the signal here. Uh, AUD USD is good for the buy as seven zero point seven six three ninety one, and the take profit level, of course, we have to change it to be right here. So we are actually going to aim uh, one hundred and eighteen pips of profit. Hopefully, we'll make them. So take profit level is going to be 0 0.7570. Um, so uh, there goes your signal for the AUD USD guys and really hope also it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. USD CAD. The USD CAD right now actually uh, going to continue the rise for a while, but not for so long. I mean, most likely the, U the AUD, sorry, the USD CAD is going to rise for another, um, not that much. Not that I doubt it. Yes, little, little. Yes. Um, the USD CAD actually has to rise for another 30 pips. I'm just looking at the left to find the strong support and resistance levels, which I really doubt that the USD CAD is going to even break out, is going to ever break out from. By the way, if we check this level, what I have mentioned to start shorting the USD CAD, if I'm not mistaken, this is Fibonacci 61.8. Let me check. I'm not sure. I'm not, I didn't check with this, by the way, but I'm, oh my God, that is amazing, guys. I did it again. <laughs> Perfect. I did it again. Right. Nice. Exactly 61.8. Exactly. Just by looking at the levels to identify the strong support uh, levels. And of course, just by, just by naked eyes, I know that this level here is going to be 61.8. Anyway, not, nothing to be so proud about because the signal went in loss. So just be sure. Uh, USD CAD can be re uh, resell again, resold again. Sorry, right on that level of, level of the support. So we are so the, the resistance. Sorry, so we can start shorting the USD CAD again on 1.25946. And of course, the take profit level has to be changed as well, just to be the lowest level of the support right here. And therefore, hopefully, um, by the end of uh, this week, we are going to make good profits. So therefore, there goes your take profit level. Take profit level is going to be um, 1.24683.
again hopefully it's gonna work very well and hopefully it will bring us lots of profit by the way USDCAD has already touched the same level where I was planning to short so we are just hoping that it's actually gonna you know something I don't know how I, how I missed it uh, if we look here if we look here carefully we can see that the USD CAD is rising and I think it's gonna hit the peak of or, or the exact same level of the resistance right here. It's not gonna hit the peak of the resistance. It has already reversed exactly at the first attempt of the resistance after the bearish breakout. Most likely the USD CAD gonna rise a little bit more just to hit the same level right here of the resistance and then gonna continue the fall. Yes, I believe that this is gonna happen. Let me change the signal just to make it more accurate for you. I just want to make sure the signal is accurate, my friend. I'm not, I'm, I'm not confused at all here. I just want to make sure that the signal is just very accurate as much as possible because, you know, for me as a scalper, every pip counts. So, um, the cell is going to be on 1.25796. This is more accurate and hopefully this is exactly where we can expect from the USD card to continue the fall. USDGPY, there is absolutely nothing to be changed about because so far the pair is falling and going to the take profit level. But however, this signal hasn't been triggered right now. It's exactly in the middle between take profit and the sell order. We just have to wait some more time. But I mean, we can adjust this signal right here to make it exactly right here from that resistance level. That's more realistic, actually. Exactly like that. So we can change the level where we go, where we are going to start shorting the USDGPY, which is going to be uh, 108.910. And let's keep the same take profit level. And hopefully also this signal will work, hopefully, and bring us lots of profits. USDCHF. USDCHF sadly is rising again. But however, we can expect from the pair to continue the rise exactly right here. Now, why here? Why not the peak of that resistance level, Salah? The reason is because we are depending on that previous support level. And we can see that the USDCHF has already made one reversal right here or attempt number one of the resistance on that previous support level. So I'm not expecting from the second attempt of the resistance to be right here on the peak of the resistance. No, most likely the next attempt of the resistance is going to occur on the very same exact le same level of that previous support level. So therefore, we have to wait for the USTCHF to rise for another um, 27, 28 pips before it's going to be valid for the sell again. So uh, let me just change this one to right here to make it above the uh, line exactly like that. Exactly like this. So we just have to change that the USTCHF can be good for the short right on uh, 0. 93597 <clears throat> the take profit level of course has to be changed right now to the lowest level of the support so we are expecting about 123 pips of profit from shorting the USDCHF so uh, target is going to be 290.92360 hopefully also we will make all these pips and make good profit out of this trade Let's now take a look at the gold. Now, the gold, of course, as we can see right now, is falling upon the news about uh, the, U the USD dollar currency index. But however, if we look at the daily chart, let me delete this first so we can have better view. All right. So if we look carefully here at the gold, the gold right now is approaching a very strong support level right here. Right here, exactly. Just to be sure I'm accurate. Yes, exactly right here uh, on 1719. Now, I really doubt that the gold going to be able to break out of that level. And of course, on daily chart, we can see that the market has actually visited the same level of that support several times with actually failure to break out of any of it. Most likely, if I'm not mistaken, the gold is going to reverse exactly from that level of the support on 1719.64. That is going to be actually a better level to start again buying the gold. And of course, if we started buying the gold on that level, our safe zone has to be exactly right here um, until the lowest level of the next or sorry, the previous support again. So the safe zone has to be ranging for about 126 pips. Meanwhile, 
the profit is gonna be actually right here or the target um, we are aiming about 355 pips of profit hopefully we will make them happening so um, you can see that the gold right now is falling and I believe again uh, it's gonna fall for another 66 66 pips before gonna be valid for the reversal but however if we look at the four hour time frame I think if I'm not mistaken this is gonna be a better entry let me just check it a little bit more just to confirm uh, I'll be back to you guys in a few seconds yep I have confirmed that this is actually a much better level to start again buying the gold and of course this is gonna be the edge of the safe zone exactly right here so therefore uh, gold is gonna be good for the buy right on 1721.15 and of course this is gonna be the edge of the safe zone just like that and the take profit level is going to be the peak of the resistance right here take profit level on 1755.70 guys again i'm reminding everyone that these technical analysis are based only on what what seems like um what the market is showing us so far of course it all upon to the price action please don't take any trade without seeing a good price action indicates that these signals that i have given you are valid of course again i'm telling you i'm i am sending these signals based on the technical view but of course we always have to keep our eyes on the market be realistic because in this business in this industry you can never survive if you are not following the news if you are not seeing the updates uh the tweets from the leaders of the world whatever can happen that can actually give the currency some strength or weaken the currency so so far so far, sorry so far everything here based on the technical view and therefore please keep your eyes on the news and let's see if whatever happens can actually change the whole outcome of these signals so please be careful and stay safe and again hopefully we are going to make a very good profits and hopefully we will make a decent uh, profit with these signals so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching